Hello again, so this is question 3. So in this particular problem we have to assume ideal diodes and then find the current I and voltage V0 in the following circuit. So if we look at the circuit, the basic difference uh, between them is the values of the resistors, right? So we have the same 6 volts up there, and we have the same minus 6 volts down there on the 2K or the 24K. And the voltage V0 is in the same place, the current I1 is the same current that is flowing through the I1. If we assume that they are the same, right, we can do that to simplify the problem. So I'll just go over like the entire solution uh, for part A. Okay, I'll, I'll show you like the entire procedure. And then you can try applying that for B and see if you get the, the correct results from the answer sheet. Okay, so for part A, so I have redrawn the circuit down here as you see so it's just like a simplified version uh, and if we to analyze this kind of circuit uh, we first assume that all diodes are on so all the diodes no matter if they are like using the, the, the battery model battery plus resistance model the ideal model let's assume that they are all on okay you can do that for all the circuits if in question one and two and then we calculate the values of the currents that are flowing through the diodes so in this case we can say that we have a current I1 flowing here and another current I2 flowing here Okay. so assuming that they are all on we can do like the uh, a, K, a KVL on, on the first loop so this give us, so let me use blue for the first loop this gives us minus 6 right volts plus 2k times I1 and because the diode 1 is a short circuit if we started doing our analysis here we do a loop where we pass through the 6 volts we have it here 2k we have it there times I1 and then once we reach this node here we are back in the ground so we are we closed our loop so that should be equals to 0 Right? So if we calculate I1, we get that it's 6 divided by 2K and that's equals to 3 milliamperes. So it's a positive value, so it agrees with the direction that we assume. For the second loop, we do the same thing. So we have a voltage drop, so we start here in the ground, then we cross the diodes, they're just short circuit, ideal diodes. And so we have first 2K times I2, right? plus minus 6 volts and that should be equal to 0 so I2 in this case is equals to 6 volts divided by 2k and that's also equals to 3 milliamperes so it's positive it agrees with the direction of I2 the direction that we adopted to take the KVL right so in this case indeed D1 and D2 they are uh, actually we have to to check that but we have that uh, the current flowing through diode 1 so let's see diode 1 is equals to I1 minus I2 right and this gives us I1 3 milliamperes minus 3 milliamperes this is 0 amperes right and then for D2 we have that for D2 the current that's flowing is just I2 so this is 3 milliamperes now indeed D2 is on but D1 in this, assum in this assumption would be off Right, because there's no current flowing through diode 1. So if we reanalyze the circuit now with D, D1 off, basically if we remove D1 here from the circuit, right, and we apply KVL again, we get minus 6 volts from the first voltage source on the left plus now let's assume we have a current I here right 
to not confuse with the current uh, i1 and i2 that we had used before. So it's plus i times 2k plus again i times 2k from the second resistor plus minus 6 volts equals to 0. Now if we isolate i here, i is equals to minus 6 minus 6 minus 12 goes to the right hand side 12 divided by 2k plus 2k 4k and that's equals to 3 million amperes. And it's positive so indeed d2 is on. D2 is on, right? But we still need to figure out what's the value of V0. In V0, it's right here. So for V0, okay, let me just zoom out a little bit. For V0, we can start at this node with 6 volts because we know we have 0 here from the ground. So V0 is equal to 6 minus 2K times the current I and that's equals to 6 minus 2k times 3 million amperes which is v naught equals to 0 volts and that makes sense right because we have like 3 million amperes we have 6 here we have minus 6 here we have 2k 2k in between we are taking the voltage v naught that's halfway across the, the resistance, right? So 2k, they're the same. So it gives us like 0 volts, right? So that's it for this problem.